Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Minecraft Dungeons running on the 1135G7. Now this is at 1080p with the lowest possible settings and you can see those on the screen right now and the performance is not great at 1080p. If you lock the frame rate at 30, you'll have an okay experience, but those frame times still fluctuate a lot and you kind of feel it. I'm playing with a controller so the experience isn't super bad, but you'll occasionally feel a stutter here and there and I feel like 1080p is just kind of pushing it on this chip you'll just see that the performance isn't great and those frame times really are just the biggest killers here. It's just a not smooth experience and this is one of those games that you can kind of get away with. It's not super dependent on you just being super, super like responsive with everything. But later levels do kind of get to the point where you kind of benefit from having a smoother experience. And overall, it just doesn't feel that great to play at 1080p. Now switching over to 720p though, the performance is a lot better. So I'm going to let it play out a little bit at 1080p and then we're going to switch over to 720p so you can see how much of an improvement it actually is. Now jumping over to 720p, you can see that the performance is a lot more consistent and this is really the sweet spot in terms of playability. There is the occasional frame drop here and there. You'll see that the 1% lows are smoother and the frame times are a lot more consistent with the occasional spikes here and there. They're definitely not completely flat. They're not exactly how you would want them to be for the best gaming experience possible. But at 720p, it just lends itself to a much more playable experience. When you're playing with a controller, you really don't feel this. When you play at 1080p, even with a controller, the frame times were noticeable. Because the controller is just a lot more forgiving on frame times and 1% lows than just playing with a mouse and keyboard. This is one of those games where the controller is just a benefit. And you're going to have a very, very good experience here. I would say that also 720p is the way to go because of the fact that the art style itself lends itself to dropping in resolution like that. You don't really lose any video quality, you know, like the art style itself does not look that different at 720p versus 1080p. And the frame rate increase that you get at 720p is 100% worth it. So I would say that the ideal way to go with this game is to drop the resolution down to 720p and enjoy the more consistent gaming experience. So I want to thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out the affiliate links down below to help support the channel and get your hands on one of these laptops because it's actually a very solid laptop for the price. I think right now actually on Walmart you can get this gateway laptop for $400. And the amount of performance that you get for $400 is just insane. So if you want to see more of the kind of games that you can run on this system, be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. I'm going to let this play out a bit more just so you can see what 720p is really like. I actually ended up sitting here playing for a lot longer even after I stopped recording. Just because this game is so fun. It really is a fun game. I don't know why I didn't load my save on here though. But it made me kind of just restart, which is fine, I guess. But on my main, you know, desktop, like I'm, I'm further ahead in the game. So I, I don't know why I didn't just load in my save. But anyways, I will see you guys.